What's up guys, Jake here, and today I'll be showing you some of my personal tackle storage, and I have a small, a little small Bass Pro unbagging. I went there yesterday, last night, um, so let's get started. So we'll start off with some, with my, what was a personal tackle tip? Yeah, let me just get this. Alright, so what this is, this is a plain old 3700 waterproof box, it has the three latches, see three latches, and in here I keep all my Senkos, sorry I just knocked the camera, but um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I can fit nine colors in here, and in four of the compartments I have hooks and O-rings, but I'm running really short on colors and stuff, so I forgot to get some colors from this. I should have wrote down what I needed to get, but I didn't. But in here, I just have my Senkos. In this compartment right here, I have Bass Pro Black and Blue. This is Gary Yamamoto, like this orange thing or something. I don't know what it's called. In this compartment, I just got some green pumpkin and stuff like that. This is Gary Yamamoto. This is a red color. Really good. These are all four inches, by the way. It's like a green pumpkin, red flake. You can see the red flake in there. This is Gander Mouse, like green pumpkin, a little bit of purple and stuff. And he and I did have a swim jig and a flipping and pitching jig, but I took those out. Just put those back in here. So yeah, that's that is my that's my personal tackle thing that I wanted to show you. I told you about it in my last video. But here we go, this is it. So that's for that. And if you're like a pond fisherman, they sell 3600s that could fit in your in your um, tackle bag. This is a family tackle bag, so most of the time in the summer, so since I don't have school, I use my um, backpack. Um, let's get into this Best Pro Small bagging. First off, I started using these. They're they are one eighth tungsten bullet weights. For if you guys don't know, this an eco rig. Let's see the receipt. Yeah, and I got some screws. I think they're no, but these are these are um, we couldn't find the Nico rig hooks that we saw in one of the videos, so we got these. These are wacky weedless hooks. EMC. Um, so yeah, the yeah we have that the closed eye to help you not lose as much fish. Extra wide gap. So, yeah, and then for the Nico rig, we got these Gary Alamotos, 6.75 inch, the Long Pro Senko by Gary Alamoto. Nico rig, we put the weight, the bullet, the like the screw weight. In here and then it goes down the weight does and the tail is this tail is really it really can go all over the place so yeah it has if you guys probably know what the Nico rig is so it goes like this and then the tail goes up and the fish come it's really good on Lake Michigan when we're, when we're fishing flats most of the places that we fish are six foot eight foot six to eight feet and flats. So yeah, get the yellow motos. Those are really good. And next, um, we got the what I love about the Bass Pro stickos is they they work and they're less expensive than the Gary Yamamoto and the color is literally identical to Gary Yamamoto. Um and they're cheaper and they come with more. The only thing I don't like that I trim which I can make a video on, is this tip. So let me grab a Gary Yamamoto and I can compare it from the, um, the Bass Pro. So it's not, it's not the same color, but don't worry. So as you can see, the Sticko, I mean, this, they're even. Sticko is a little bit longer than the Gary Yamamoto. 
So what I do is I do exactly this, hold it exactly like this, so you can see the level. And I would trim off the um, tip. Let me grab some, I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'll show you. It's exactly this, they're even, even Steven. It. Just trim that off. Hmm? Don't they look identical? Don't they look identical? See? That's not that hard. Just right before you want to put it, you just do that. It's not hard at all. So there's a little tip that you guys can use. I personally learned that myself. Because it, it, it really was, like, it really didn't, I really didn't like that. I, I couldn't see it when I was buying them at first. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, that's Postico's. Next up, I haven't done unboxing in a while. Now, these things, I like to get them, but they just seem to not work. But on, on some days they work, but they're not as... I don't know what the word is. They're not as well. They're not as reliable. Like they're not as consistent as catching fish as the Bass Pro or the Gary Yamamoto's. But they still do work on some days, and they're really cheap. I think that it's this little hook slot here. I don't like that, and it doesn't work. I don't like it for the O-rings. It's made to help the O-rings. I just don't like it. It's a young dinger and green pumpkin. Oh yeah, and I also have this color in Gary Yamamoto. I don't know what this is. It's like some black and uh, green and red flake. Yeah, there's that. Um, so, yeah, here, let me go grab one of my things in my tackle room and I'll, and I'll show you something. It'll take two seconds. So this is kind of like a, a stick or bait review. Actually, I'm going to make a different video on this that's coming out probably today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tackle, kind of like a tackle organization tip for me that you guys can use. And, and on unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.